Okay, brace yourselves. I'm gonna show you something now which makes adults and children alike feel sick to their stomachs. Short division. Some of you might be thinking, no problem. You're one of the few. Most people find division overwhelming. Doesn't need to be, shouldn't be. Um, and I'm gonna show you now how we would do it at school um, using counters to make it a bit simpler. Lots of children won't want to use the counters and that is fine, um, they don't need to, but like I've said in the addition, subtraction and multiplication videos, the reason why we teach it with counters when they're first learning the method is so that they understand what they're doing and how the numbers are working. So once a child understands the method it's fine to ditch the counters, however for a lot of children it's a really helpful starting place um, and even if children are confident um, confident with what they're doing, they should be able to explain the numbers using the counters. So that's why we use them. So let's get started. So as I show you this example, I just want to draw your attention to my choice of wording. I used to get so confused in school by people saying something like five into seven is, and I'd think what? And I didn't know what they meant. So what I try to say and what most teachers would say now is how many lots of five can you get out of seven? Okay, so let's start with 716 divided by 5. I'm going to ask, how many groups of 5 can I get out of 7? The answer is 1. But then I have 2 left over. I'll show you that more in a minute with counters. So how many lots of 5 can I get out of 21? It's 4 with 1 left over. And then I can get 3 groups of 5 out of 16 with 1 left over. So with counters... Here I've got my 700s and I'll take away one group of five. So that's one group of five gone. And then I have two hundreds left over, which I can now, we'd sometimes say carry over, but I'm doing an exchange. So I'm taking the two hundreds that were left and I'll exchange them for tens. So that will come out as 20 tens. Look at my place value video if you want more information on what is going on here. So now I've got 21 tens. And I'm going to ask how many groups of five can I get out? So one, two, three. That's four groups of five gone. Four times five is 20. One left over. And here comes another exchange. So that one ten, which is left over. So there's my four groups of five. One ten left over is now going to be exchanged for ten ones, giving me 16 ones altogether. And again, that's one group of five taken, and a second group of five taken, and finally, one more group of five taken. So that's three lots of five out of 16, and you can see there's one little one left there, and that's my remainder one. Okay. Now let's have a look at putting that remainder as a decimal. So I'm going to do the same sum again, I'll do it quite quickly. So one lot of five in seven with two left over, four lots out of 21 with one left over, and three and 16. That remainder one that we saw earlier is now going to be exchanged. And I'm putting that zero in to show where it's going. So I've got 10, two lots of five in 10, 143.2. Here's one more example. I'm going through it quickly. Please do get in touch if it's not making sense. And I'll go through it again. So I can get one lot of four out of six with two left over. I can get seven lots of four out of 29 with one left over. I can get three lots of four out of 13. And that one that's left over is now being exchanged across into the next column, the tenths. And here I've got a 10, so I can get two lots of four out of 10 with two left over and the same again. The two gets exchanged over, giving me 20 and I can get five lots of four out of 20, 173.25. So there you have it. Hopefully that made a bit of sense. Um, hopefully it wasn't um, too challenging. I'm sure it wasn't. Um, as always, I'd love to help you out. So comment, ask me questions, let me know what you'd like me to make more videos on. I'll do the best I can to do those. Um, I'm on Instagram at Mrs A Homework. You can subscribe on here so that you don't miss any new videos. And please do share me around because I'd love for um, other parents to be able to benefit from this. Thank you very much.